Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. Welcome to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes Videos. My name is Chris. Today we are doing another video in a whole um, series of videos that I have about water plants, uh, different plants for your pond. So yes, on this channel we talk all about koi ponds and water gardens and waterfalls and pond filtration and fish and plants and the whole bit. I have a ton of videos here that can help you guys out with a bunch of information. So please look through the channel, see what you can find. I'm sure there's some uh, informative videos here that can help you out. Um, I also have a website, www.pondscapesandmore.com, where I have a ton of videos and photos on jobs that I've built, uh, done over the last 25 years, and I've been professionally building ponds. And um, there's also a lot of uh, product links and, and product reviews there, as well as information and products on feeding and attracting wild birds. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. Um, today's video, we are talking briefly about a plant called the purple pickerel rush. It's a very common plant in the pond industry, at least in our area. Um, and it's a really cool plant because to me, it just seems to be a plant that just fits. It just looks like an aquatic plant. It just goes in the pond. It just, it's, it's just a perfect pond plant. Um, there's basically two different varieties of it most commonly found. Um, one is like a blue-purple flower, and the other is a variety called Alba, which is a white flower. Um, but, you know, 85% of the time you're going to be finding the, the blue-purple flower. Um, these plants can get quite large, okay? They can get uh, two to three foot tall. They hold their flowers up high on stems, stalks, up off the top of the plant. And the flowers are great for pollinators. The bees and butterflies love these flowers. Um, and that's really important. It's great to uh, have different uh, plants that pollinators love, you know, in your yard because unfortunately a lot of the honeybees and pollinators, their numbers are dwindling. So if we can provide them a good food source and something that really attracts them, um, that's an extra added advantage, all right? Um, so these plants uh, can grow two to three foot tall, okay? They do get quite large. Um, so they will require a nice sized pot, all right? As with all aquatic plants, um, all these plants that are in water really can spread and grow quite aggressively. So having a nice um, sized pot to contain these things will allow them to grow nice and big, right? And you can control their growth. Um, they don't send like roots and runners out um, you know, where they keep growing more plants, they basically grow in a clump. But that clump grows and grows and grows and grows and grows and gets bigger and bigger. Eventually, they can take over large areas. Um, but they are not as invasive as like a cattail or a lizard's tail or, you know, a lot of a chameleon plant and stuff like that that can just take off and shoot runners out of your pond and start growing in the dirt and the rocks, you know, in your garden. I mean, they just take off. Mint is another one. Um, <laughs> so I, I actually have another video about uh, plants you may want to avoid. So you might want to check that out too. But this is not one of them. This is a, this is a plant that's a really nice, looks great in a pond. Like I said, it's uh, two to three foot tall. It gets nice round oval shaped leaves. And you know, with those blue flower stalks up off the top, it's, it's a pretty attractive looking plant. Um, again, you buy them in smaller containers, usually come in like one gallon little containers, right? Um, repot them, put them in something nice and large. So as they get bigger, when they get two, three foot tall, they have a nice sturdy base so that they don't blow over in the wind. Um, typically, I like to keep my pots about an inch or two below the water surface and no more um, because I don't want my fish to get in those pots and start tearing the plants apart, especially larger koi when they start laying eggs. So nice large gravel on the top really can help as well, okay? Um, so yeah, <laughs> really nice plant, um, great plant, full sun, all right? We want to put it out in full sun. The more sun, the better. and. Um, yeah, um, just wanted to give you a little introduction on the purple pickerel rush. 
So thanks a lot for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully uh, we'll see you back again sometime soon. Take care. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.